All right, <clears throat> we're uh, here in a small town. Meredith met, met up with uh, Brad, and I apologize, I can't remember your last name. We were passing by and they're digging this yard. He's over there. <clears throat> uh, they got permission to that home, found, I think he said a Merc and a, and a Rosie. And I uh, believe they got permission to the house um, over here and possibly over here. <clears throat> um, so I think uh, Brad's hunting with the whites, and I don't, I don't know what the uh, Bobby is hunting with, but uh, they were saying, you know, to come on over here that they're gonna meet up with us. But anyway, <clears throat> good potential uh, yard, and uh, owners don't really care about. They ain't cut it in a while, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna search it and see what we can All find. Right, Brad and Bobby are over at that other house, like they said they were gonna do. Dad's got a something beside the sidewalk over here. I'm sweating like a something yeah. else. Man, it's hot. All right, bro. Uh, this ground's time. Hard. Stickers in the yard. Yeah, stickers keep poking my darn hand. What you got? There you there go. There it is. Smirk. That's good. 40 something. Yeah. That's good. 40. 43. I love a Merc. That's a good find. First silver of the day. All right. We'll let I you know what it's going to be a good day. All right. Well, that's I good found luck. a weed over there. A weed? I didn't, yeah, I didn't figure them. Yeah, I found a wing off an airplane and a dog buckle. Really? And I'm sweating. I'm sweating Can you bad, tell? too. Man, it's got to be like 78, 80. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's to next... torture. Yeah, torture here in South Carolina. All right. That's Bobby. Bobby hey, what did Bobby find? He's got what the E-Track. <clears throat> E-Track. <laughs> Show him the finds, man. With the, uh, what's that? The Sun? Too, the man. Sun something? The X1. The X1. <laughs> probe. The probe with the E-Track. And this is, I won't show you, this undercover guy. Talked with him on uh, on YouTube. He's got the uh, the White's Coin Master GT. And uh, oldest coin he ever found. Was it with this one? No, it was with a regular Coin Master. Regular? Yeah, basic. Basic was 18 what? 32. Cap bus dime. 32 cap bus dime. Yep. He's got us beat. <laughs> He's the the uh got a little silver there. Got got dirty, face. dirty face here. <laughs> I don't clean them. He's got a rosy. Got a mercury somewhere in He's there. Got a merc. Fifty one. Did you see today? Let me take off my glove. I can't even get in there. So we were riding down the street, like I said, and they were up here on the right Everybody detecting that yard. And we uh, we started metal detecting behind them, and then they hit the corner, and we we hit this concrete yard with all the sticker briars in it. So uh, sharing sharing stories, sharing finds, handful of weeds. He's got some mercs in there, so I got a merc in there. Too. <laughs> so we all know what mercs look like. So anyway, he's got, got a, a merc. Buffalo right there. Please. Oh shoot, buffalo. Okay. Ain't worth nothing. So we're gonna follow these guys when they leave and find oh, out where they go. Yeah, we, I'm going right back next door. <laughs> <laughs> got the E-Track. All right. Yeah. So you got two two silvers today, right? First two holes. First two holes were two silvers. Dad found his Merc. So between four of us, we got three silvers so far. Chris is at home. And a Buffalo. Three E-Tracks and, and a Coin Master GT. So uh, we'll, talk Brad to get in a, he's ready right. we'll let now. we'll let you know what else we find. Run's I need time. to run for Run's mayor.
out here in uh, South Carolina at the beach. He's got a pretty serious mine lab, looks like. That's a heavy duty sand scoop. Don't know if he's getting anything or not. But uh, I'm sure looking. Had a good signal. Blackberry with the case. All right. Oh man. All right. This is the uh, end of the hunt. This is all that I found in a short time. Um. It was a good little hunt. Met the gentleman that was uh, metal detecting. Uh, he's hunting with a CTX 3030. He said he's pulled some good rings and a bunch of cell phones out, but not today. All right. Guys, I don't know if you know where I'm at or if you watch TV or if you recognize those cars, but uh, you know I'm in South Carolina. Yep, we're at Myrtle Manor. Guys, I'm out here uh, visiting a house that we uh, hunted before. If you remember correctly, this is the place where I found my first and only Walking Liberty half dollar over here. And Dad found a couple of mercs in the front yard. Um, he may stop by. He's working today. But uh, he's passing by about a mile and a half away from me on the way to a job site. I told him where I was going to be, so he'll probably stop by. Anyway, I got a pretty good signal right here. 1244 13 about six inches down 1345 so we're gonna dig it up see what it is all right i've cut the plug but i hadn't opened it up yet let's see what we got one-handed you know i normally don't do this mm, might be too shallow Nope, just uh, memorial. Well, I felt sure that uh, me and Dad had missed one. I'd at least find a Merc, but it uh, looks like we hit it pretty good. But it's always good to go back and check check your old spots because, you know, as the winter hits and summer, the, the ground, the coins kind of toss and tumble in the ground, so it's always good. And, you know, these quarters were ringing up pretty good, so they just as well could have been silver. All right, well, on to the next one. That's the realities of metal detecting.